Did you manage to speak with them? They meant they didn't want to stay for breakfast. And by the time I came out, Mandy was already gone. I guess they still need a bit more time. This is because Michael couldn't keep his mouth shut. Uh, they were going to find out about his ALS sooner or later. I just wish they would talk to us. I can't tell what they're thinking. Well, there's a lot to process. For now, maybe we just give him some space. Good morning! So? Yeah, better eat something before you go. Why you suddenly want to play golf? Ah? It's because of Mr. CEO, her ex-classmate. Golf is how Mr. CEO went from repeating sack four twice to becoming a big shot in the property industry. How big is big? Entrepreneur of the year, three years in a row, runs a very successful property broking firm, broker of the most expensive en bloc in the last year. Wow. Is he married? Got a girlfriend? Probably. Men like him are hot commodity. They are ready to go? Okay. Find out if this is the CEO of this single. Even if this unicorn of a man is single, I am already taken. Is it Bunny? It's Bunny, right? Taken by my job and my business. What's wrong with having options? She only just met Benny. The more options, the better, ma. Geraldine doesn't have all the time in the world. As much as I appreciate all your concerns, who and when I date is my business. Thank you. Good oh, morning. I was looking for you too. Why? Is there something wrong with Brayden's exam result? Oh, no, no, no. It's about the field trip to the hospital today. Oh, yeah. He can't make it today. Family stuff. What stuff? Is everything okay? His great aunt is having very sick. A birthday party. Sorry, it's just that. Brayden needs to be studying. Yes, but it's a good opportunity for him to see what a workplace looks like. It might also help him inform his future career choices. His whole family works at GFPCH. He can talk to them. What's quality time with his friends? Brush up his socialising skills. Right now, being ready for PSLE is more important than socialising. As a teacher, you should know that. Right. All ready for the meeting with the big bosses? Don't you know? I can't go. I have a school field trip to Chaparral. Didn't you see that email from David Olsen this morning? He specifically requested for you to be there. What email? Why he suddenly asked for me? Well, he wants to commend you because he knows how hard you've been working recently. And how do you know? He told me after I gave him my report on your performance review this morning. Aiyya! Why? Because I thought as your boss, I should give credit where it's due. But don't worry, I'll take over the field trip. Huh? Then you don't have to attend the stupid meeting? Damien, wait. Can we talk? I'd rather die. Listen, listen, listen. The doctor says I have five years left at best. I just want to spend the rest of my time with my children. Can't you understand? How do I know if you're ever really sick? I can show you proof. Medical documents, prescription. It's no cure for ALS, but it suppresses the symptoms. Is that why you came back? Because you found out you're dying? Yes. That's part of it. So you came back here because you didn't want to die alone. <laughs> just get on my face, okay? I heard you managed to get out of the big meeting? Yes! For a noble cause. I'm going to be showing some students around later instead. Huh? Are you sure you'd rather deal with a bunch of kids than old men? I am great with kids. And the old men in there, they don't get my sense of humour. Yeah, right. Says the guy who dressed up as the Joker for my 10th birthday party and made my friends cry. That's ancient history. My jokes have gotten better. Okay, how about a bet? If none of the kids cry today, I will pay for dinner tonight. Ha! Huh. All right. Easy peasy. The only tears shed today will be tears of laughter. You are too young to be drinking in the morning. 
We should leave that to old burgers like me. Morning, Kong Kong. <laughs> I heard your father told you about his ALS. Don't talk to me about that lying jerk. It doesn't matter if he made up that ALS crap up to gain sympathy points or if it's true. He's dead to me either way. I've given bad news to many people in my time as a doctor. Some get angry, some cry, some even break down, but always for the same reasons. Grief and feelings of helplessness. Not me. I couldn't care less if that guy eats it. I just can't stand how selfish he is. You know, I went through the same thing with your papa. I'm a doctor and I could do anything to help her. It took me time to come to terms with that. And when I did, I could focus on making her final years happy. He can be miserable until he's dead for all I care. Look, there's no doubt Michael is a lousy father. But you don't have to be a terrible son. And at least you can be a decent human being. Please, Chrissy. All I want is to talk to the kids. If they don't want to talk to you, there's nothing I can do about it. How did things turn out this way? You told them about your ALS. That's why I didn't want them to know. It just came out. I'm sure. I get it that you wanted to tell them. But did you stop to think about how they might feel? Look, what's done is done. I just want to know how to fix it now. Just give them space. I don't have time for that. You should have thought about it. Damien's already stressed out over his assault case, and your big review did not help. Fine. But why on the subject of Damien's case? Hey, uh... that's none of your business. Stefan, your shirt, tuck it in. Okay, you can sit down. You guys stay right here. I'm gonna go fetch the rest of your classmates, all right? Welcome, dear guests. And you must be Miss. Um, just call me Rose. Hey, I thought uh, Pochu was taking us round. She's in another meeting. I'll take care of you. I mean, the students, of course. <laughs> Great, okay. Oh, you must be... Naresh. Hanesh. Harish. Call me Harish. Okay. Well, um, I better go get the rest of my class. Uh, can you wait for me? Take all the time you want. Okay, thanks. Okay. Why is your face getting so red? I is it? <laughs> yeah, I saw a man turn red like you. He died of heart attack. Well, I'm not dying of a heart attack. <laughs> Never know. <laughs> Priya. What is it? Don't tell me you made a student cry already. No, but at this rate, I might cry myself. What's going on? I need your help with the kids. Please. But I've got a lot of work. I'll get someone else to cover you. What do you need my help with? This is a timetable for the kids, and this are the worksheets for the students to do. But this seems like you've figured everything out already. What else do you need my help for? Well, I just need you to... Eyes on your buddy at all time. If anyone feels ill or squeamish, let me know. Will we get to watch an operation? Well, would you like to volunteer to be operated on, Stefan? If there's a lot of blood. <laughs> well, I'm sure that'll be really fun for you, but I hope not. Don't worry, I hope you with the field trip and with the pretty lady too. No, no, don't do anything extra, all right? I just want today to go well. But you like her, don't you? No, I mean, she's gorgeous and all, but you know. I knew it! And now you're going to introduce no, yourself. No, Priya, Priya, no, Priya. <sighs> you definitely overdid it. How was I supposed to know that golf will give you so many blisters? Hello, yes, I'm Peeling. Mr. Big Property CEO, so you remember me? <laughs> it's been such a long time. Today, I can move things around. See you later. Bye-bye. Mm, 
Mr. CEO finally called back. Yeah, turns out he was just overseas, not ignoring me. So you take care of Braden's tuition after this, okay? Huh? Then what about lunch? You don't have to leave at the drop of his head. You know how busy he is? Hey, hey, bend your hand. Okay, ready. This is a triangular bandage. It's very versatile. Now watch as I turn this in Arpsing or Priya here, and the two will practice on our buddies, all right? Ouch, my stomach hurts all of a sudden. Maybe, Miss Ortega, you can stand in. Ah, uh, sure. <laughs> so, I have a broken arm. Um, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so, just hold your arm in front of your chest. Uh huh. And uh, I'm at 90 degree angle mm -hmm. and 45 degree angle. I'll just secure the sling in front of your neck. That's a very sloppy looking sling. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, just you guys wait. I'm sure it's a lot harder than it looks. Right, Tara? <laughs> Well, you want to make it tight, but not too tight. You make sure you immobilize the arm while not restricting blood flow. Mm. Thanks. Thanks for coming, RC. What's this about? Tell me everything about Jared. Come again? I want to help with Damien's case. I'm going to clear his name, and I'm going to take Jared down. Did you discuss this with Damien first? He won't talk to me. But I understand. I'm sure he's feeling a distressing amount of pressure right now. Yeah. Um, especially with the whole... Listen, Damien can hate me all he wants, but he's still my son, and I can't bear to see him like this. Please, let me help him, Arcee. And let me help you too. What do you think? But I mean, if we get to help go, I'm all for it. Hey, Anthony, 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 Anthony. Think about all the business I've given you. Huh? One post tweena session, the young day won't hurt. Tweena. Ah, same, same. Fine, just this once. But don't let my pa find out. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Hello. What? Day. Hey, what's the occasion? What's the anniversary? Huh? Bow renewal. Cocktails with Mr. CEO. You already had lunch with him. This is a networking event with the best in the business. How do I look? Hmm? Uh, 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 Mr. CEO will be very happy. Ash. Oh, has Braden gotten his mid year mock exam results back yet? I'm not sure. He has. No, already still ask me. Keep up with the parents' group chat. Ask him for it and update me later. I don't know how long I'll be gone for, but don't wait up. Bye. Hey, bye. Hey, who's Mr. CEO? Some big shot ex-classmate of hers. Huh? Am I hearing jealousy? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Uh, uh, the, um... Damien, your dad told me not to tell you, but... What? He wants to help you with your assault case. So he got me to tell him everything that happened. I'm sorry, okay? It seemed like a good idea at that point of time. It's okay. The guy can get anyone to tell him anything. You're not going to at least hear him out? No. <laughs> it's funny, I used to wish that he'll come back. Now I'd rather he just stay off my life forever. Okay, so I'll be waiting outside. After watching the demo, come out quickly so you can move on to the next station and let the next group in, okay? Okay, enjoy. All right, come on closer. This is going to be a lot of fun, all right? Now, we have to be very careful and put pressure on the vein or else it will... Oh, no! Ah! Rose! Rose! Ow! 
reading a lot, yes. Yeah. It just doesn't feel real. They see the average life expectancy after diagnosis is two to five years. It's practically nothing. Right? And sitting with my dad just now, it just seems so normal. To think that he'd be gone in five years. Just thinking about it makes me want to cry. You're not angry with him? Like God? No. All I can think about is my father's illness. I know what you mean. You do? Mm hmm When my mother got killed in that accident, I spent weeks, maybe months, thinking about the accident. How it happened? From the police reports, the newspaper reports, played it over and over in my head. How did you deal with it? Because I can't. I mean, why do I have to? I just want to graduate and live my life, you know? And is it awful for me to think that if he never came back, I wouldn't have to deal with this? You'd rather not know. It kind of sucks. I mean, I was planning to go look for him, but now that he's back, all I'm thinking about is Please leave. Go, because I... I don't think I can deal with this. Can you imagine how your dad felt when his doctor first told him? Please, I don't even want to think about that. Okay, whatever it was, it made your dad come back to look for you, right? My mom died so suddenly. Never got that little extra time with her. Had a good time? The best. You won't believe how many business cards I've collected from all the big fish there. Good for you. I wonder what their total net worth is. Do numbers even go up that high? They probably do. Oh, I had a nice long chat with Mr. CEO. Oh, did you? Good for you. Can you believe he was actually retrenched twice, but he managed to climb his way back up to the top? Good for him. He has the brains, the looks, the money. The man has everything. Yeah. So I heard. Do you know what's the most ridiculous part about him? He's still single. You should have seen all the women trying to cling on to him just now. You know, I still don't know what he really looks like. Hmm? Cute, right? Bonjour. These are camera filters. What camera filters? These photos were taken just now. Hashtag no filter. Oh, did you ask Brayden about his test results yet? It might have slipped my mind. Never mind. I'll go ask him. Uh, oh, thanks. No, no, it's my fault. It's the very least I can do for you, right? Okay. Um. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ah! <sighs> Uh, no, no, no. Maybe it's, it's, it's better if I do it myself. <laughs> I am so sorry about everything. No, no, it's fine. Really. What was I thinking? Messing around with fake blood. This is worse than the birthday joke incident. The what? I think. You were just trying to keep things light for the students, and I can respect that. I was trying to be funny. And the kids loved it. <sighs> I should have told you I'm afraid of blood. Uh, if you need to see a doctor or physiotherapist, whatever you need, just let me know, I'll cover it. There's really no need. Oh, if you need, like, a chauffeur, personal shopper, or cook, I mean, until your wrist heals. Hmm, a personal butler. Now that is an offer I can't refuse. Pochu's gonna be so jealous, I have a personal slave. Oh, can we stick to butler? I like to maintain a little dignity at least. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Ah. <laughs> okay. B for science. B for English. A for maths. And a C for Chinese. Look at this, so many careless mistakes. 
Haven't we gone through this many times? The papers were very hard. All my classmates didn't do well either. Why do you always compare yourself to the worst classmates? And you left this whole section blank? Didn't have time. That just means you didn't manage your time well enough. But I went as fast as I could. Then you clearly need more practice. Mommy, please, no. Four practice papers. Every single day, one for each subject. Oh, she's coming. She's coming. Hey, Rose. Sorry, sorry to keep you waiting. My meeting overran and all my work got pushed back. I am so sorry. Why are you saying sorry? Harry should be the one saying sorry. Someone call me. Why are you still here? So we can have dinner together. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm taking my daughter out for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're funny? You're not funny. Uh, he is, just a little. Ow! Your broken wrist funny? It's not broken. All right, I'll leave you two alone. Tell me about the meeting tomorrow. Have a good night, ladies. <laughs> Bye, Harish. Not bad, huh? Sounds like you know your stuff. I am on fire! <laughs> I thought I was fierce, but failing. You're a different league. If your son is as playful as mine, no choice. Otherwise, nothing will get done. My boy is also playful, but at least he managed to prepare well for his RES exam. Hmm? Better don't be too overconfident, huh? Some of the questions can be very tricky. I'll be fine. I got this down, yo! Anyway, I spoke to my boss. He's usually very picky. But since it's you, he doesn't mind taking on another agent.